Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the infamous Patrick Ta palette. I am so obsessed with it, spoiler alert. This is the Major Dimension eyeshadow palette for eyes and oh my goodness, is it beautiful. Literally obsessed. So from the start you get two creams over here and it has a little door to keep them nice and creamy and then you have all of your shadow shades over here. So there's a mixture of mattes, pearls, metallics, and this says luminous creams, iridescent metallics, glistening pearls, and velvet mattes. This, okay. First of all, let's just address the elephant in the room. This is $68 for this palette. However, it is so beautiful. You can already see all my fingerprints all over it, so that isn't like the best in the world. However, the shadows themselves Oh my goodness. Let's just jump right into swatches and then I will show you a little demo with all of these shadows on. So I'm just going to swatch the top one and then the bottom one and then go down the palette and then I'll put the shade names on the screen so you can see exactly what I'm swatching. And we'll just do it on this arm. Why not? We're going to go in with the first cream. This shade right here is called Lady. It's the first cream and it's a super warm based medium brown. And then the second shade is Woman. And this is a deeper chocolate brown, and that is the second cream shade. These are super pigmented and super blendable, and they dry down to like a powder finish. So I used it as a base on my eyes, and it was so beautiful. This next shade is called Exquisite. It is a chocolate brown with like gold reflex in it. It is so gorgeous. This shade is Scandal. It's going to be the matte chocolatey brown shade in the powder formula. I did these swatches so bad, I'm going to have to just go right here on this side of my arm. But the next shade is going to be Legendary. And this is a metallic, super warm brown. You can see all the reflex in it. It is so unbelievably pretty. That would be so good as like an all over the lid color. And this next shade is called Mother. It's a little bit more red based than the one over here. So there is variations in the shades. On my arm, because I have such light skin, they're all gonna kind of look very similar, but just know they actually are very different. I'm just pale, so darker shades tend to look very similar on me. And this next shade here is called Lavish. I am absolutely obsessed with this one. It is like an orange based light brown with very fine reflex in it. I have it all over my lid today and it is so gorgeous. I'm absolutely obsessed with that shade. And then the shade under it is called Absolutely and then it's such a cute name. These shades are a little bit powdery, just a teeny bit for the mattes. They are velvety and they do blend super smooth and I don't find that they're patchy at all on the eye. But when you dip your brush into it and you put your finger in it, it is a teeny teeny bit, like there is some kickback, but it honestly doesn't affect the eyeshadow look at all and it's actually really beautiful. And I think it works to your advantage. Like I don't want a really hard pressed eyeshadow that I can't blend. Now this next shadow is called Opulence. And oh my gosh, it added so much shine and dimension to my look when I put it on the inner corner of my lid. Literally so beautiful. I think everybody's gonna love that shade. And then this next shade is called Transition. And you, as you can probably guess, it was the perfect transition shade for me. I'm gonna go up here now. I don't know, I, these were the worst swatches I could do. I'm so sorry. And now the next shade is Abundance. And this is like my favorite shade. It is this creamy, reflective, it's gonna blend in with my skin because it's like as pale as I am, but it's this really creamy and reflective, actual like opulent color. It is so beautiful, I'm obsessed with it. I put it in my inner corner. And then this shade, the last one, is called Divine, and it's a light peachy shade. Again, it's gonna be hard for you to see because of my own skin tone, but it's a light peachy shade with a lot of dimension in it. It is so unbelievably pretty. So here's all the shades all over my arm. So now that we did swatches, I'm going to show you a little demo of them on my eyes, how I got this look, and then we will jump into my review.
you guys that was a little demo of the eyeshadows in action I wanted to do something very similar to what I would do with another palette that way I could really get a feel for the eyeshadows how I would normally use them on the day-to-day -day. but I definitely am gonna be creating more looks in the future that are a little bit more out there and not my like basic kind of like multi-step process that I do but oh my gosh I am in love with this palette I was a little skeptical at first about the $68 because I was like how can that neutrals palette be that special however one there's no talc in this formula and that is super huge for me because my eyes get very irritated with talc and this has none in it there's also no parabens so it's like a relatively clean formula for a non-clean brand at Sephora to put out a clean palette is pretty amazing and spectacular because that normally does doesn't happen and these shades are gorgeous and they're so unique it definitely is a standard neutral palette you can use it in the same way you would use a regular neutral palette however the shades themselves are just so unique like all of the mattes I mean you could probably dupe the mattes but all of the shimmers and the iridescence they're just so special I love when they give you a matte like this one right here what is the shade I think this is called lavish when they give you a matte that has a very fine um, it's like a matte base with a very fine glitter or shimmer in it. It is just so beautiful on the eye and this really does give you the major dimension. Like I can totally see it. I love the concept. I love that there's the little window over the cream products and these perform super well. Sorry, I'm trying not to blind you, but I think it's happening. But overall, I think this is a very, very good neutrals palette. I think it's unique and if you have a ton of neutrals already, I think this can still add so, so much to your looks. I definitely think this is going to be my new favorite palette. But anyway, that is the review of this beautiful thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And let me know down in the comments below if you're going to pick this up or if you're going to pass. I know it is a little bit expensive, but don't worry because I'm going to be having another eyeshadow palette in the near future that is an affordable brand to review here as well. So we hit a little bit of everything. And all right, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.